I am glad we're starting this one off like this. So I just, uh, so I just went to go look for my June 16th results, which was 14 days after the first time I tested positive. And today is June 18th, just to give you guys a, a timeline here. And the results are in from June 16th and I'm still positive. I don't get it. I don't get it. I called the health department back because I'm very confused. I was originally told that after 14 days and no symptoms, you're good to go. You're fine. You can't infect anyone. You're not contagious. But I just called the health department back to ask them if that's like really the case or not. And apparently it's not. Like apparently you're less likely to infect someone after 14 days, but it's not 100%. So you should still stay home. You should still socially distance um, and you should just continue quarantining until you get a negative test. I'm now on day 16, 16? Yes, I'm now on day 16 after testing positive and I'm still positive. So here's, here's the little results to show you guys latest test and then it says positive for COVID-19 and here's where it says June 16th positive. I don't really know what reference range means. I've never really understood. I might google that to um, try to find that out but here she is. So I don't know when I'm gonna go negative. I really don't but of course for the safety of others I am still in this house. I'm not going home and I will continue to quarantine until I get my negative test. Thought was gonna be the 14 day one but unfortunately it's not so I will keep you guys updated with the more things that I learn and everything and hopefully this gets better soon. Hi guys. So I know what you're probably thinking, because I would be thinking the same exact thing. Why do I look like this? Why do I look like I just ran a mile and I'm extremely out of breath and sweating? Today is June 21st. Oh, actually, I'm really out of breath. Hold on. It's actually Father's Day, and it is almost three weeks since I tested positive for the first time. But I have been, of course, just sitting in bed. I'll, like, walk around the driveway a bit. I swear my, like, biggest activity has been TikTok in the sense of, like, you know, moving around-wise. Like, doing TikTok dances is literally, like, my biggest activity which I know sounds so stupid but I really haven't been doing much and all I wanted is like to do a workout of some sort because before I got corona I probably was in the best shape that I've been in in a very 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 long time I was working out every single day eating healthy and I was just so proud and so happy with the progress that I had made and of course once I got corona that all went out the window I have not worked out in honestly about three weeks at this point because I didn't work out a, like the week prior to getting corona so it's been about three weeks since I have done any sort of like physical activity and I knew that I had to take it slow at first I didn't want to push myself too far the first time back since I do believe I am still positive with corona I didn't want to trigger anything or anything like that so i just did a 10 minute arm workout and a 10 minute ab workout the 10 minute arm workout was perfectly fine felt great the 10 minute ab workout was pretty difficult and i do just think it's because i'm kind of out of shape right now but i was super excited to be able to do them the 10 minute ab one i did have to take things slow and kind of do like the easier version of some things and not really go full out but I am glad that it's a step in the right direction and I was able to do somewhat of a little bit of a workout today so I'm glad that happened and that's pretty much the only update I have for you guys as of right now of course you saw the last clip where I found out that my 14 day test was also positive so now we are just waiting to go get retested and I'm going to go on Tuesday which is like I said officially three weeks since I tested positive to begin with so fingers crossed that that all goes well I will be back to give you guys more updates soon um, and yeah so since it's Father's Day we are doing dinner very far apart my mom is coming she's not outside yet but this is how we're doing dinner my, my food right there my mom's taking a picture <laughs> 
<laughs> our socially distant dinner. Look how cute. <laughs> Okay guys, I literally just got in the mail like my first sample of the new merch and I can't show you guys yet because it's not out yet, but I wanted to get my reaction. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys obviously cannot see it. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try it on. Alrighty, hi guys. I am officially, can you see it? I'm at care spot. I'm at basically the urgent care to get my three week retest. This one is gonna be negative. That's just the way that you have to think. This one's going to be negative. Officially 21 days since I tested positive the first time and hopefully this is the last time I have to get retested. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do it one more time after I get a negative to have two negatives, but this may be one of the last times, hopefully, that we are at one of these places and they're gonna have to poke my brain for the 500th time. Just kidding, it's only the fourth time now, but all right, I guess let's just go do this thing. It is currently June 24th around 10 p.m. and it's a day after, it's literally the next day after the clip that you guys saw. I never really did an update or anything, but nothing really crazy happened. I got the test and then I came home and I've just, you know, obviously been sitting here not doing much. So I'm supposed to hear back from the test tomorrow on Thursday because tomorrow's two days since obviously I got it. And I'm really hoping that this might be the last night that I'm sleeping in this room i don't know i don't want to get my hopes up too much but i'm just trying to think really positively about it and i'm hoping that this will be the last night that i'm in here of course it's been nice being here but the air kind of shuts off at night which sucks it gets like really 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 hot at night but yeah all right i guess i'm just gonna like lay down and try to sleep and hopefully in the morning i will have negative test results Okay, so I literally just got a text and like just woke up, but I think it's my results. Okay, so all it says is CareSpot, thanks so much for choosing CareSpot for your healthcare. We hope you had a good experience. Would you like to call us for any reason? But it doesn't say anything else. I'm so confused. Basically, they said that if my results were negative, I would get a text, and if it was positive, I would get a call. All right, I guess it's nothing, I don't know. Okay, so I just opened LabCorp, and that's like a like where the results are. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm like freaking out. I haven't opened it yet. You guys are gonna see my reaction. As you can see here, it literally says June 23rd provider, coconut, the, the where I went, so I guess I'm just gonna open it. Oh my god, my heart is racing. Okay, I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna say it's not detected. Does it mean I'm negative? That means I'm negative. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. So I haven't heard from like the actual care spot yet, but I mean this is the same thing, right? It just says not just. Oh my god! Wait. Look, okay, so it said your lab results not detected. And this is for Corona. Oh my God, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what to do right now. I'm like shaking, I'm literally shaking. Okay, um, <laughs> I think, I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm negative, I, I'm negative. I just can't believe it. I mean, I can believe it, but I can't believe it. <gasps> okay, I need to put the camera down and like breathe for a second because I'm actually shaking. I, okay, um, I'll see you guys soon, I guess, when I like breathe. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. Hi, they just posted on like the lab thing. Yeah. I'm negative. It says not detected, so obviously I'm assuming that means negative. So I'm outside right now, and I just showered, but Bean's about to come outside. I obviously have not seen her in about a month now. Is she on the leash? 
Up. What happened? They tried to trick you. They tried to trick you. I bring her inside. She'll go nuts. Oh, go inside. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> Feel good to be home? Yes. Hello. Come here. Hey, look at herself. I know. Oh, she doesn't know what the hell to do with herself. <laughs> Yay, B. Yay. Yay. Oh. Yay. Hi guys. I'm gonna set you guys down because I want to talk for a sec. Is my bed made? No. Is this maybe like a terrible whatever. Point is we are a couple days past now but I've been home for a couple days now. I've just been enjoying being home. Happy that I am officially coronavirus free and it's been a long time coming and you guys have really been on this journey with me and have just made this whole thing bearable and I cannot thank you guys enough for all of the love and support. Literally, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so happy to be home. I am so happy to be back with Bean. I know a lot of you guys were asking where Bean was and she was staying with my parents while I was in isolation and in quarantine while I was getting better. My parents did watch her and I was just so incredibly excited to come home and see her. So things have been really great and I'm just really thankful that I got through it. Next thing that I have to do is get my antibodies test and pretty much just go on from there. I really don't think I'm going to be doing any more Corona content. I I'm not sure, but I don't think so. I really do just want to put this whole thing behind me and move forward and I have so much more awesome content coming. I have so much more exciting stuff coming. So it's been a great four videos of, you know, talking with you guys about it, letting you guys know what's going on, making awareness of the whole thing. And now we're gonna move on to some more awesome content. And I just wanna thank you guys again so much because I really would not have been able to do this without you. Today is like the first day that I did like my makeup and my hair and just, yeah. So I'm just super happy and super grateful and blessed and everything that this thing is officially over and that's pretty much it i just want to say thank you guys so much for being here with me on this journey thank you for watching the past couple of videos um if you have any other questions make sure to comment them down below if you want to stay up to date with more content that doesn't have to do with corona then make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications because there's gonna be a lot more fun stuff coming very 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 soon and yeah i'll be sure i'm probably gonna go on live soon now that i am back in my normal house and I have Wi-Fi. I would love to go on live for you guys. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because I beat coronavirus and because I am officially negative. And yeah, I think that's it. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched all the videos, then thank you. I love you again. I can't say thank you and I love you enough, truly. But I will see you guys super soon with a brand new video. Bye.